Oh shit, my TV's on. Hey everybody, how's it going? <laughs> Welcome to the fortune cookie. It's Saturday. I got a, I got a giggle monster with me today. Uh, yeah, it's gonna happen a lot. <laughs> Say hello to the 8-bit drummer. Hello to the 8-bit drummer. I'm glad you did that. Thank you. He was very lonely. <laughs> he really wanted that. I'm glad you did. <laughs> Welcome to Dead or School! It's about a girl who just really wants to go to school. But there's a zombie apocalypse, so he has to kill, or she has to kill things. It sounds That's like my wife. Wow. <laughs> this, is pretty much, this is pretty much all I know about this game, honestly. <laughs> Dude, my wife loves school. Like, she, she, she would go back to school, like, professionally if she could. Like, that, oh, she just loved I don't know how. I don't know how. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Yo, I was like, I was valedictorian in high school. I would never go back to high school. Dude, I actually have like actual nightmares about high school. Me too. Like, I, it's, still, it's I still, I still have what? Well, I still have the like, I forgot to study for an exam nightmare, and I still have the forgot to work on a project nightmare. Like, I don't know yeah. what the hell university did to me, but like, it just pops up in my mind all the time. It's, it's so frustrating. It's so bad. I, yes. I hate it, dude. Like, all I want to do is just, you know, have a good night's sleep. And no, I gotta, I gotta worry about my teachers hating me. It's like, really? <laughs> Why? I don't understand it. See, it doesn't help that I fell asleep in class a lot in university, so like, I think that's why I associate sleep with with that nightmare. Yeah. But the oh, worst God. part, the worst part was like, there was one class in our first year, uh, we sat right in front of the prof, front row and everything. And uh, it was three of us, well, three of our comp sci students, and we all fell asleep during the same class. <laughs> the three of us just right next to him for the prof, and he let us sleep. That's the best part. That's the sign of a good prof. He was like, these guys must be tired, just let them go. And I'll make fun of them later. It was hilarious. So in my in my 11, or 10th grade year, um, at the end of the school year, one of my my teachers actually gave me a award for sleep learning because I aced his <laughs> class. He gave me a actual plaque. I don't have it anymore. I don't know where it went, but it said I can't remember what the uh, the actual like scientific term is for that. But it was a what you call it award for sleep learning. I was like, wow, okay. But yeah, no, I I I just fell asleep all the time. That was amazing. I could, do I could not get away with that <laughs> in high school because my mom was a teacher. So, oh God! Yeah, my mom was a teacher originally in my in my school because I grew up in a K to twelve, and then uh, oh, the yeah. schools combined around grade my grade seven. So then uh, the two schools combined into one, and my school, which was a K to twelve, suddenly became a uh, I think it was like five to nine or something like that, or six to nine. Oh, my yeah, mom yeah. still taught at that school, and then I then after grade nine I moved on to the, the high school, but uh, I was lucky. I barely avoided old men. Getting her as a teacher. You know what you're doing? <laughs> she, oh, she, was a, she was a homeroom teacher, and I avoided that. I don't. And then in grade seven, a year before the grade she was a teacher for, uh, I had to choose between health class what? and music class. And I was like, all right, I want to, I want to learn a music instrument. So I picked, took music class. And the uh -huh. next year, mom became the health class teacher, and that was the year they taught sex ed. So. Uh, oh, I bet that was wonderful. Dodged a huge. <laughs> bullet there <laughs> speaking wow of, speaking of bullets let's load it up dead or school standard difficulty level to enjoy combats good choice if you want to focus on the story the enemies are relatively weak and high difficulty level with intense combats let's go normal aim with the left stick or aim with the why would I aim with the left stick that sounds like a nightmare no Ugh. give me a right stick how are you gonna walk it doesn't make any sense that's the other quest. oh I think it's, it's just wherever you're walking that's how you aim it too oh it's like an on rail shooter yeah, it'd be like Contra then, yeah. Oh, frick, okay. <laughs> what is that alert? <laughs> Sorry, I've never seen that Wario alert. <laughs> Here's a brain. In a dystopian future, human beings were contaminated with an unknown virus and turned into mutants. Are you my brother Rex Racer? Topical. They turned into my brother Rex Racer and got hit rainbow beamed. The battle between the people that remained and the mutants was fierce and they started a war which would determine which species will survive and take control of the surface. They lived in the sewers. <laughs> they fought for over three years and the humans lost the war. They had no choice but to live underground, giving up on life on the surface. They were afraid of being invaded by the mutants and they dug deep. Human culture and history was almost completely forgotten and many years had passed since the escape. And now, after 78 years of living under the ground. Jesus. Wow. Thank you for the gifts of Bob. They go, shit. I finally made it out of the underground. <laughs> On the 18th underground floor quarter.
kind of hanging out in the sewers. Dude, they totally have like the uh, <laughs> like the, the the clothing too. <laughs> the clothing, <laughs> it's so perfect. <laughs> ah, seventy-eight years underground. Well, I don't care how long it's been, but how much longer do we need to stay down here at this crappy underground shelter? There's really nothing we can do about Anami. We're not supposed to get out of the shelter. That's the rule our village chief set. Damn right, it's all that village chief bitch's fault. Wow. <laughs> This took a direction. Uh, just because she has only few years left to live, that doesn't Dang. give her the right to take away the golden years of youth from us, the young and beautiful. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I hope I hope this is not who we're playing as. <laughs> um, by the way, I found a secret elevator. A secret elevator? Oh shit, Carlos is raiding. Hey, Carlos. Oh, I what's found up, it Carlos? in the further back of the shelter. It's never been used. It might take us to the ground above us. Carlos, should we take the elevator? Tell us after we yeah. shoot you to death. Insane in the rain music. Carlos, thank you so much for the raid. We're starting Fortune Cookie. This we are literally on the first game. You. We're Look playing Dead or School. Carlos is a saxy boy. Well, friends. Saxophone. People again. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about taking an elevator to the, to the above ground. This the ground above. From me to you. Oh there are many, there are many mutants there. Life. The village chief said so. She said we shouldn't what? even get close. Stop listening to ramblings of that old lady. Have you really thought about how long the mankind has been living down here? Mutants on the surface must be mummies by now, let alone rotten. But the mankind. But what? Oh my God! Is that another raider? Is that just Carlos's alert catching up? Oh, it's just Carlos's alert catching up. Yeah. But what? How much longer do you want to live at this musty and damp underground shelter? Uh, I've once read about it in a magazine I found. It said that on the surface there is an endless blue sky with no walls and no ceilings. It's called a skybox. Oh, I'm having mic crackles again. Hang on a second. Mute the mics for a second. All right, there we go. Okay, that should fix the crackling, hopefully. Blue sky. Hi there, what are you two up to? I think this is who we're playing as, this red-haired girl. Oh, God, I hope, girl. Yeah, I just hope it's not the brunette. Like, yeah. good lord. Well, Nami found a secret elevator. What the? <laughs> oh, you, you can't tell her. Why not? Because Asako is the village chief's daughter, that's why. If the chief finds out the punishment will be more than cleaning the shelter floors this time. Dot, dot, dot. Come on, Yui, nothing good will come out of talking to the chief's daughter. Uh, sorry, Asako, there's something important Nami and I need to discuss. Okay, dot, 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 you guys. On the 18th underground floor quarter. And we panned up. <laughs> yeah. Here's the rest of the game, in case you were wondering. Mode seven. Let's go. What? On the first Ikebukuro station. People again. I have to admit, this is some secret elevator. No wonder it's never been used. Can't believe we're actually coming this close to the surface. I mean, I'm scared. Stop it, Yui. Nearly there, the surface world that no one has seen. The blue sky of my dreams is right there. Well, friends. Also and roaring. What was that voice? Again. Oh, heck yeah, yeah, dude. Do you Get the butt rock going. Doing? This can't be. I, don't. I never thought the chief bitch would be right. But she was telling the truth about mutants taking over the surface. This is not a place what? humans can live. Impossible. It's impossible for us humans to ever see the blue sky. Please. 
Somebody help! Rip and tear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why did you bring a whole party with you? What the fuck? Holy shit! What the frick? Yeah! Yeah, fuck him up! And that's why you don't frick with the redhead, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> that's the right reaction. Uh. <laughs> no way! Hisako? Oh, Hisako. Let this oh, one yeah, go. Oh, yeah, now you're gonna be nice to Hisako now because yeah. she can literally tear you apart. Please don't tell the chief bitch about this. Stop calling my mom a bitch and then maybe I won't. You stupid woman. All we wanted to do was see the blue sky above the ground. Dot, dot, dot. The blue sky. You over there. Oh, is that? I think that's the chief. What What do you think you're doing? They. She barely looks older. Yeah. That voice. I was wondering where you were since I didn't see you at the shelter. How dare you get on the forbidden elevator? How dare you? Oh, crap. Look who's coming. This is far worse than mutants. Hisako, take care <laughs> of her, will you? Thanks. Come on, Yui. You can tell she's older because her eyes are a bit smaller. Yes, yeah, smaller eyes. I don't think I don't think that's how aging works. Uh, I mean, in anime, it apparently does. That would mean Brock is the oldest anime character in <laughs> mankind. He's he's literally like eternal. He's ancient. <laughs> <laughs> they just don't understand. They have no idea how dangerous the surface is. Come on, Asako. We need to get back down to our shelter. Otherwise, mutants will smell corpses and come after us again. Mom, was Nami telling the truth above the ground? Is it true that there is an endless blue sky above the ground? Huh! Hisako, please don't tell me you forgot the rule of our underground shelter. But, Mom, how much longer? Are you gonna force us to keep talking in single fragments? To live in this dim, <laughs> small place so deep underground and stay quiet? I want to get up there to the surface and play with my friends under the blue sky. What in the world? Ugh, this child. This game likes ellipses more than I do. Yeah. Well, well, well. What, do, what to do now? Perhaps this place is too small for active girls like Hisako. Grandma! My dear Isako, you can tell me anything. Come, let us go back to the underground shelter. See, now Grandma looks older. I'm glad Grandma came with us to go fight the zombies. That gives, <laughs> me, that gives me confidence. Like, the uh, the other, like, red-haired girl looks like her sister. Like, it doesn't look like a mother at all. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I don't know how to talk faster than this. <laughs> Delta, oh my god. <laughs> Notice how grandma's eyes are so small you can't see them. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it, yeah, you're right. Exactly. Oh, we're just hiding out in a train. Uh, grandma, you used to live above ground, didn't you? What was it like? Are you my brother Rex Racer? <laughs> grandma, are you my brother Rex Racer? Sorry, Hisako. <laughs> when the war broke out on the surface, we fled into the underground. For some reason, I lost all my memories of the surface world. But even then, even I... Even I remember one thing about it. Really? Please do tell me! The only thing I remember is... But if you want to hear it, take this first, Hisako. <laughs> A uniform? Oh my god. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Wait, why is it in Comic Sans? What are these clothes, Grandma? What is this clothes, Bagel? Hi, buddy. <laughs> Have you sacrificed a bagel to me, Reese? Okay. She says, yup. Hi, bud. Buddy. Hello. Hi. He's gonna stand there? Okay. Aww. What are these clothes, Grandma? They're called a school uniform. A uniform? Now listen. On the surface, there were paradise-like places called schools. Children wore uniforms, went to school, ate tasty food, laughed loudly together, made many friends, and played together. That's your grandma's only remaining memory of the surface world. My school memory. See, it's the nightmare. God. It's the nightmare. I'm, right, dude? One hundred percent. I'm so sorry for her. Uh. School. Eat together. Play together. Wow. A place like that really existed? When the war broke out and we had to flee into the underground, I was wearing this school uniform as a young girl. That's a 72-year-old outfit. I'm glad you kept dude. it clean at least for 72 man, they years. Man, they still that sucker. What the frick, man? Damn. When I look at this uniform, it reminds me of my happy school days, though only vaguely. The uniform you wore. Grandma's uniform. A paradise on the school- on the surface. A school! Mom. Grandma. I've decided. I'll wear a uniform and save children from danger! <laughs> it's so anime. And we'll all go to school together! Yes! Yay! <laughs> well, it's a good thing it fit her perfectly, good lord! Yeah, right? Oh. Isaka, go to Shinjuku Station first if you want to head to the surface. Shinjuku? 
You know, it's the biggest train station in underground Tokyo. You should be able to find reliable companions at Shinjuku Station. Build a team and head to the surface together. School is a sacred place for many people to go to. It's not a place you can get to on your own. But Grandma, how do, can I get to Shinjuku? In this murder train we've made. Oh my god. Use this train that people like me are using as residential areas. I knew this day would come, so I kept the train I've used in youth in good conditions. Dude, she's the Doom Slayer. I've handed down my Doom Train from, from <laughs> generation to generation. Don't doom suplex train. it, please. <laughs> oh, Final Fantasy. Thanks, Grandma. So Shinjuku Station it is. Mother, how could you send Asako off to Shinjuku? It's her eyes. I couldn't they're bury her bright mine. eyes in this sad, dim place. Yeah, they're bigger than yours. That means she's younger than you. That's how I knew I could trust her. The sparkle in her eyes is the hope of the of the mankind. Your eyes used to have the same sparkle. Then you got older and they shrunk. It was very strange. <laughs> and I know it was me who took away that sparkle. It was my selfishness that killed your hopes, but also kept you alive. So really, I think we're breaking even on this. <laughs> I don't want us to make the same mistake anymore. For now, just trust it. Trust the hope that's in Hisako's bright eyes. Her massive bright eyes. Oh, here we go. All right, move with the stick. Sprint with left shoulder bumper. Crouch with left stick. Jump with B, double jump. Oh, I start with a double jump, nice. Looks like I have a stamina meter though. God, I would hope she has a double jump with the amount of damage she like <laughs> annihilated those zombies with. Holy cow, you're so tiny. Go! <laughs> Alright, let's just sleep on the train. Oh my god. On should the we, doom should train. we be? Who's running the Doom train? <laughs> Man, there's so many holes in the story already. Oh god, I, I, oh my god, I'm loving this so much, man. It's been so long since I've played like like a campy anime game like this. Oh my uh, god. The best part is we haven't even gotten to the gameplay yet, so for all we know, this could just be like a, just a wet fart. But I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping. Yeah, exactly. We were talking during the uh... Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, no, I can see why people like this game. <laughs> so this is Shinjuku oh. Station! <laughs> How are you alive? <laughs> Grandma! I promise I'll take I'll take a good care of your uniform. I'll put it on, make lots of friends, and we'll get to the surface, I promise. And I will go to school. Oh, oh my freaking god. Well, good thing there's a fire. Wow. Alright, I can't use a D-pad, I do have to use the stick, bummer. Alright. I okay, I've noticed we have a sword, a machine gun, and a rocket launcher. And a pipe. That's a pipe, not a sword. I think, yeah, I think that's the... HELP! I see. No, <laughs> ah. Somebody help me. Warning! You can switch your weapon with... OR R. <laughs> think you, you left that apart there! Nothing. I think you, you nothing left something... You switch your weapen. <laughs> It'll just happen automatically, you just can't control it. Yeah. <laughs> sword attack. While a sword is equipped, ZR, you can make an attack. You can make up to five combination attacks. Hold down while pressing R to perform a low slash that knocks down your enemies. Hold up to perform a high slash that sends enemies flying. So we got launcher moves and trip moves. Machine gun attack. When, while a machine gun is equipped, press ZR to make an attack in the direction you aim with R. Hold down the button for your fully automatic gun to automatically keep shooting. Launcher attack. While a launcher is equipped, press ZR to make an attack in the direction you aim with. A blast takes place, oh, allowing you to attack yeah. multiple enemies simultaneously. Alright, I think we have the sword equipped, so let's... When attacked by an enemy, your life decreases. When little life left, you will be in the torn uniform state with temporarily increased offense and defensive levels. Of course. Okay, so we have we have magic magic schoolgirl outfit which gets damaged but makes us more stronger as a result. Because sure. See, like see that right there is the number one thing in anime. If your if your clothes rip, you have taken damage, and you, that's how you know. <laughs> it's like, like holy shit, it's kill to kill. I think that actually <laughs> yeah. might be the case. Amazing. Ba basically, attacking, sprinting, jumping, and dodging. Take what is that move? I want that move. Tag is pretty jumping and dodging. Take up your stamina. When your stamina bar reaches the red zone, it will take longer for your stamina to recover. Yeah, so this is 
When crouching, the recovery speed of your stamina improves. Crouching when you don't Holy have enough cow, stamina. Holy cow, she's a Beyblade. Yeah, exactly. Oh, let it yeah. <laughs> let it rip. How do we... Ga, ga, ga. <laughs> Behind you! So nudity makes you stronger on this planet. Dodge with A! <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, thank you for the tutorial now that you've shown me. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you didn't catch that. Perfect. Making perfect dodges slows down your enemy's movements, giving you a chance to make an attack. All right, so they're just dodges. so amazed. They are so amazed by your movement speed. Oh man, that is definitely the sound a gun makes. That look at how gigantic this lady's sprite is. She's gonna be like twice the height of us, or she could still be lying in the exact same position. Thank you for saving me. It's See, you amazing can tell how she's young though, because yeah. she has big eyes. <laughs> It's amazing how a girl like you can defeat mutants all alone. And then she got older. Lying on the oh, ground just it. reverts your age a bit, so it's, it's an important <laughs> tactic. She has a pit boy, what the frick? She really does, holy cow. Thank you again. And she's wearing a lot of belts. I'm Eureka, a civilization investigator from uh, Roppongi Station. A civilization investigator? Haven't you heard about us? It's literally written on my collar. It's been 78 <laughs> years since humans lost to mutants on the surface and fled to the underground. Over that period, we humans lost all of our pre-war history and culture. This is why we, civilization investigators, are trying to restore our lost history of the surface world. Well, I don't really understand what you just said, but I'm looking for someone to come to the surface with me to go to school there. So bye now. What? <laughs> what do you mean a school on the surface? It's incredible. A girl like you traveling to the surface alone. You do get easily get surprised, don't you? Huh. Huh. That's it! You're an idiot! As a civilization investigator, I'll come with you and go to school with you, too. What? <laughs> I was feeling lost because of how little help underground books and remnants were in, in restoring the civilization on the surface. What's that serious look on your face? You want friends, too, to make a team, don't you, to get to the surface? I do. But... Schools aren't for old ladies. Wow! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> See, she can tell her eyes got smaller! Freaking I yeah. told you, man! Lie down on the ground, you're young, and then you get up, man. This is rough. <laughs> well, excuse me for being old. <laughs> but I can teach. Oh you need teachers in your school, don't you? Once we get to a school on the surface, I can teach history there. What do you say? Yeah. <laughs> Besides, there's one more reason for you to take me with you. Perfect What's timing this? on that alert. <laughs> What's this machine? I arm. You can communicate from various places. I arm? I arm. It was developed on the surface before the war. It's an oops, oop arts. Pop tarts? Ah, I love Pop-Tarts. <laughs> and Oop-Arts. <laughs> With this, you can do hologram communication, underground mapping, and weapon search, too. Let me join you, and you can get your hands on an amazing machine like this. So what For do you say? For only have... $19.99. <laughs> <laughs> I've never used machines before. Aside from this machine gun, I just ignored the part of the name that was there. <laughs> My name is uh, Eureka, and I am a civilization investigator. So very nice to meet you. Ha! Eureka has joined the team. Heck yeah, dude. All the waifus, let's get it. Money reinforcement gears and modification gears can be obtained by touching them. Weapons and attachments can be obtained by crouching. Obtain weapons and attachments can be equipped at save points. Uh, get, attack one, nice. We have a skill tree. The skill tree is literally a chalkboard. It's oh, literally man. a chalkboard. This is the best. Thing ever! <laughs> oh my god! Alright, we have an inferior iron pipe, an inferior scrap gun, and an inferior scrap launcher. So that's all our equipment. We have a weight limit we have to worry about, but we can also level up. Hmm. And we have uh, yen, and it looks like we get scrap from both types of games. I like things here. Our student ID notebook. Yeah, our gallery. So all the cutscenes we've seen. Student register, so all the people we've met. Oh my god, there's a lot. And there's the tutorial. All right. Well, let's keep going, then. Wow, that's... This, you know, I'm I'm becoming more and more impressed with this as we go along. Like, yeah, inferior in the best way. Yeah. Now, let's switch to... back to here. It's a rock. It's blocked. We have to find another... What is... What is behind, in your cleavage? What is... What are you hiding a key card there? That was not there earlier on your sprite. 
Well, let's go this thanks way. So, thanks, so for the gift itself. I appreciate that, dude. Why is she a hologram now? Because she's back at our base, which I guess is Doom Train. Yes, yes, I need to tell yes. you something. Oh, no, that was... Oh, that is just the window. Okay, never mind. It looked like a card sticking out there or something. These lights are called save points. Very important places for moving around underground Tokyo. At save points, you can customize, buy, and sell your weapons. You can also recover from damages at save points. If you get injured or don't, don't push your luck. Just come back to a save point. You can move, Did customize... She hit... Okay. She has so many belts on, her hair has a belt on it. Did you yeah. see that? <laughs> I didn't notice that. <laughs> like, look the next time uh, on the... Uh, whenever you see her again, there's a, a thing... Look, at look. Oh you my see? god, you're serious. <laughs> her bangs. <laughs> She has hair belts. What the oh frick? Oh my god. The oh, I love it. Design. Yep. All right. The power of anime belts. Let's customize. Oh my god, look at this portrait. I Oh, my, oh my god, this is actual. All right, let's go. I mean, you oh. got to have a uh, you you have to have a like a forge on the doom train. All right, the inferior rusty sword is better than what we're currently using. You've successfully equipped the sword. I think you also obtained an attachment, right? Try it on any weapon. Up to two attachments can be equipped for each weapon slot of swords, machine guns, and launchers. By equipping attachments, you also reinforce your weapon's basic capability. You also gain abilities from weapons, so standard stuff. <laughs> this costs $25 USD. <laughs> <laughs> and it's also on the Switch, yeah. Oh man! Oh my God! It's on the Switch, dude. This, is the, I'm, this I'm, is the Switch I'm playing on. See, it's bro, right here. I I might have to pick this crap up, man. This looks so fun. So so speaking of a game in this vein, um, have you played AI Somnium Files? No, but I have it, dude. You, okay, you have to play that game. Okay, like there's not a lot of like like mystery type games that I like to play, like uh, visual novels. That one I have enjoyed so much. Like, me and Erica played it together. We were just blown away by it. Like, absolute. It's funny as frick. It's really, really good. But now, back to the Doom Train. All right, we're hacking. We, we did it. We hacked. <laughs> Man, if it were that easy. Hooray, doors open. Wow, the shutter opened. A simple shutter like this can be hacked open with eye arm. Ha! Iron is really a great device. I don't know how well it works though, since it was made with pre-war technologies. But don't you find it strange? No one remembers the surface world. It's only been 87 or 78 years. My grandma did say she had lost her memories too when she fled to the underground. I think it all comes down to that. Human memories about the surface getting erased during the war. The prevailing theory is that the memory loss was due to the traumatic experiences of the war. But how can every single person on the surface lose his or her memory with no exception? I don't know, let's fight some zombies. Oh yeah, I've heard I've heard Zero Escape is really good, Bobby. Or Bob, rather. <laughs> it's Fallout New Titties. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Zyle, oh my god. <laughs> I'm, I'm watching like I am watching the chat and some of the some of the things you guys are saying are freaking killing me, man. I found a man uh. with drugs. His name is Dead End Dan. Are you alright? Red pills, red pills, do you have some? You've got, like, three in your hand. See, red those pills. are the red and white pills, though. Stay away from him, he is a loner! A loner? He's referring to illegal drugs that paralyze our brains. Some people take them to st deal with the stress and hopelessness of life underground. They give you a sense of ex exhaustion, but re regular uses cause brain damage and the stench of death. Even mutants stay away from the addicts. So that means there's no way to save him? Unfortunately. Oh no. The only thing people living down here without any hope could use to escape the reality was the drugs. Ah ah! 78 years since the man the mankind started living underground. It's long enough for any right-minded person to go mad. Help. Are you alright? No, this is, this is the same dialogue. It is actually straight up the same dialogue. Okay. Bye. Poor damn. Don't, don't do drugs, kids. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, this, this is a sick riff, actually. Right? Like, it, I'm, I'm actually really impressed with the music in this game. I could do with a little bit of a zoom in, though, you know. It does. It does seem a bit far out there, doesn't it? Oh yeah, we got yeah, farther like, away because you asked. <laughs> it's like Hizako, hey! <laughs> like, like you can only barely see what's going on. If we stay but, zoomed I mean, out, they can't see how tiny the sprites. Oh, that one's got a gun. 
Once again, a really awesome riff. <laughs> Mick Gordon, eat your heart out. Ouch. I said, Zombie, know how to use a gun. Oh, my sword's getting worn out. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, vibes. That's a treasure chest. It might contain something useful for your combats. It contains a gear. Pick it up. I can't see it because you won't stop talking. <laughs> All right. You can reinforce and modify your weapon with the gear that you picked up earlier. Try it. All right. So I saw something amazing in the trailer for this game, and I'm really hoping we get to do it before we go to the cookie because uh, I'm hoping it's in this section. God, that's so good. Just that little transition. <laughs> Reinforcing your weapons increases the level of your weapons. The attack power of the weapon will increase accordingly. Levels can increase up to 10. Uh, and the scrap guns are the same, so we'll just... Excuse me. Since we reinforced your weapon. Next, let's try modification. You can put additional effects on your weapons, but you won't know what kind of additional effects are given until your weapons tell you do it. I hope you'll be happy with the effects. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not going to be what I wanted. Damn. I remind me to show part of this trailer when uh, before if we don't get to it in time because it's amazing what they show. Oh in the yeah, trailer. no problem. Uh, let's modify the sword. No matter what you do, it will still be inferior. <laughs> Attack speed increased by 9%. <laughs> she is officially the road waifu. <laughs> uh, oh no, I've just received a distress signal. A distress signal? Hisako, open IARM's map and ignore those bats trying to kill you. There's a tiny man over there. Go save him. Even tinier than we are. Yeah. You see this human shape over here? It means someone is waiting to be rescued. Someone must have pressed one of the many distress signal switches installed by the civilization investigators at various locations. Okay, let's hurry there. Alright, I guess I'm not going down there. <laughs> oh, right, I have a double jump. Thank goodness I remember that. Oh, that's the rocket launcher. Oops. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> he yeah, is he, gone. He had it coming. Uh huh. We found a buff old man. Da damn. You alright? Sit still for a bit, I'll get you out. Huh? Well wait, well wait! What do you mean save me? You're just a kid! Before mutants smell my blood and get here! Get out now, hurry! Too late. Is that Sid from Final Fantasy? I was gonna say it looks like Noah. Oh yeah. His eyes are small, he must be really old. <laughs> <laughs> That. Reinforcement gear, nice. Yes, give me all the upgrade materials. What is this? What? Mutant it's fat! <laughs> Mutant fat, let's go. Oh, I'm, out of, I'm out of ammo for that. Oh, gah, 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 gah. So thick, John. Too thick. <laughs> <laughs> Could be bigger though. Oh man, I, that's everything with you. I, I, it's just a meme at this point. I never thought yeah, a girl like you could beat mutants. You're all right now. I'm Asako for your rescue. Oh yeah, I'm Daiba. I'm from a Kiribara station. I came from Shinjuku, came to Shinjuku looking for help, but the ground collapsed and look what happened to me. I fell on my hammer. That's what it looks like I'm holding, anyways. Who is this older woman in the image? I have a name, you know. I'm Eureka. Anyways. What do you mean you came all the way from uh, uh, Akihabara for help? Why? If I remember correctly, there are many strong diggers there. Diggers? Diggers dig underground to create more residential areas to keep up with the increasing population underground. Diggers are strong because they operate heavy machineries. They can normally cope with mutants. 
Now that you mention it, you do have big muscles. Huh. Of course. Us diggers won't lose to those damn mutants. But take a look at this photo, will you? I can't tell what that is. Was that more mutant fat? <laughs> oh no. Mutants. Man, this game's got me giggling, John. I'm sorry. Too, I know, this is, this is good. I'm, I'm digging this, man. Mutants, too many of them. There must be a hundred. No, more than a thousand of them. Or just one really big one. Yeah. Yeah, I have no idea where they came from. I've never seen that many before. We we couldn't... We fought as hard as we could, but there were just too many of them. Many died, and now look at me. Oh, no. The elderly women and children in uh, Kiribara are now hiding in the deepest parts of the shelter further down their residential areas. It's only a matter of time until the mutants reach them. That's why he came all the way to Shinjuku to get help. But if this is all Shinjuku is, a town once known as to be the largest in Tokyo, it's not much different from where I was. The remaining population consists of only drug addicts and the elderly, both useless in any battle. There's no strength left in any of them to fight mutants. Damn it, I can't. There's no way I can save Yuki, is there? Yuki? She's my only daughter. She's very tiny. I put her in this locket for safekeeping. She was the only light in my life in this helpless underground. I raised her on my own. She never complained, not even once, and she's always been there for me. She'd always say to me, smiling and washing my big, dirty... Wait, what? She'd always say to me, smiling and washing my big, dirty digger clothes that take forever to dry, that she was dreaming of the day she'd go out to the surface and dry my clothes in the bright sunlight. Very specific. She just really liked drying clothes. Don't tell her what a washing and drying machine is. It'll blow her mind. <laughs> just once. Just once I want to get her out of this damp place so that she'd play out in the open without any ceilings or walls under the blue sky. But I left her back there where lots of mutants were surging in because I'm a terrible father. God damn it. I can't forgive me, Yuki. Okay. That's it. <laughs> I'll go there and save Yuki. And we'll reach the surface together with Yuki. Okay. And go to school. Oh wanna make my it, goodness. You want to make a team and go to school with friends on the surface? Yep, that's my dream. In this hopeless underground world. Are you seriously thinking about doing something so foolish? I'm not a fool. I just want to see people smile above ground. Also, I have a rocket launcher. Hmm. Grr. Gah! Your name is Hisako, right? You're surely interesting. I sure want to shake things up too. Let's do it together. You and I are going to save Akira, uh, Akihabara and save Yuki to see her smile at your school on the surface. From now on, that's my dream. Great. Can you imagine the little girl like Hisako would befriend a digger from Akihabara? Ak yeah, I can never say that right. Akihabara? Well, let's get a move on. Wait a minute. This is the only rail track that can take us to the station from Jinjuku, but... It's blocked, of course. Eh. <laughs> you chose poorly. Oh, this is a. This really wants me to take in this cutscene. I've already hit a button to move ahead, and it has not moved ahead. Uh -oh. oh, wait, there we go. This text is moving now. <laughs> Did you press the X button? <laughs> <laughs> Ow! How can we open it? Seems the control device is broken. We can open the shutter only by finding the computer control room in Shinjuku and remotely controlling the shutter. Hmm. So if we find it, then we can open the shutter and head towards it? can move freely because of this injured leg. Or I can't move freely because of the injured leg. Please, go to the control booth and open the shutter. Daiba has joined the team. Well, gonna go get stuff. doop a doop a doop <laughs> Now we have to go find the small gentleman at the end of this uh, area. Oh, wait, no, we did. That was the, He was the small... Uh, that gentleman. was the small gentleman, yeah. Ah, okay. Now we have to go find the computer. We're almost leveled up. What? We leveled up! Hisaku, you've increased your level! When your level increases, you can obtain a skill! You can take a skill in the pause menu anytime. Try it! Or, okay, I have no choice. <laughs> Maybe right. oh, oh, I guess not. <laughs> Let's see, what do we have in Rocket Launcher? Uh, while pressing the strong attack button, time slows down, making it easier to aim at enemies. Bullet time, nice. Yeah, basically, but only for the Rocket Launcher. Pulling the strong attack button lets you get into low stance. You can't move in low stance, but the power of your bullets will be twice when shot straight ahead. Mm. Over the sword, windmill! When on the surface, use the strong attack button to charge forward with an upward spinning slash. Hold down the button to continue with slashing. Your attack method may vary, but I want this. I mean, yeah, you have to go with the, uh, the hedgehog roll, like 100%. Exactly. Look at that fucking move. Oh, wow. A new skill has been unlocked. 
You know, I actually do uh, really like how they have like the, the weapon just in the portrait, so you don't have to like figure out what the heck you're using. Like, it's actually yeah, that's kind a, of that's a nice decent. touch, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it's a really nice touch. I mean, they have more than enough room on the overlay to do it because you're so zoomed out, but, you know. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of them. Look at these guys. That uses so much stamina, though. Oh, my God. Whoa. I think that's like a like an instant stamina drain, though, right? It, does it go forever? Or, like, or just as long as you touch it? Just like, watch this now. Let's see how much this does. That does so much damage. Wow. Mommy's boy, Goro. <laughs> You look a lot like Dan. I know, it's really weird. Probably from the same family. <laughs> Alright, well, right, well, bye. Obstacle check. Wait. These rocks seem rather soft. Let me try. Please punch the boulder. You did it! The rocks are gone! You're a wizard! Totally, totally punched the boulder. A <laughs> rave time. Yeah, I think we're celebrating that the rocks have disappeared. Break out your uh, glow sticks. Let's get it. Mm -hmm. That's what Underground Tokyo is. Maybe it's us diggers' fault that Underground Tokyo became such a labyrinth. All right, well, bye. Oh no, zombies! They've got shields. Uh oh. Oh man. Oh. Oh shit. My outfit. Uh -oh. No. Oh. Uniform no. broken. It's time to go berserk. Oh, it's a big boy. That did so much damage to him just then. Oh, Lord. Tear up that mutant fat. Take that, mutant fat. Yeah, God, man. Mutant boy, or mama's boy, Gora, were you impressed? <laughs> no. Oh, hi. Did Could Hello? you have helped earlier? Hello, refugee. You that is rescue. your real name. Yeah, I don't Good think Lord. it is. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad you are safe. You were trapped under the rubble. What were you doing in a place like this to start with? Either the trains in Shinjuku still ran, so I forced myself to come get one. Trains? You mean... So that train is the one you took. Do you like trains that much? Oh yeah, they're dream vehicles from before the war, packaged with pre-war technologies. As an engineer, I need to have one. You're an engineer? I thought girls didn't like to even touch machines. To survive, I need to learn. There are many machines that can still be used to fix. I'd, I'd explored and studied all the scrap metal around here, so I thought if I had a train, I could travel far to get more. Anyways, you are safe now. Be thankful that you're alive. What are you guys going to use a train for anyways? I'm heading for the surface world. You crazy? I'm not. I just want to take back the surface world and find a school there. A school? I might have read something about it. It's a place for kids for them to study and play, right? I thought it was a fictional place. But it sounds interesting, doesn't it? Schools. Can I join you? Take me with you. I think I can learn more advanced technology at school. Of course. I'm so glad you're coming with me. If you need any maintenance work done on anything from trains to gas stoves, just let me know. I don't think you need to go to school, honestly. I think you... You might have that covered already. <laughs> I think you already have a trade. Yeah, she literally already has, like, a master's degree. She just doesn't have the piece of paper that says anything. Oh, she, uh, she, she raised all of our stats, including our weight limit. Oh, wow. We're heavier now. Perfect. The player's <laughs> parameters improved a little by obtaining souvenirs and rescuing refugees at various locations. You also see details in the student envelope. See, that's what you get for fighting so many mutant fats. You gain weight. Damn it. <laughs> Also, real talk, freaking engineers and scientist chicks in anime, like always here. dress the same too. Have you noticed that? Yes, they all they all exactly dress the same. Uh, like it's it's ridiculous. Like, have you ever played um, uh, Blaze Blue, by oh, any yeah. chance, the fighting yeah. game? Okay, so you know you know who Kokonoe is, right? The the pink haired. Uh, uh, oh, so I, I did not play. I played chick. I played the first Blaze Blue. She was not in. There. Oh, only the first. Oh, dude, like I played them all. <laughs> I love. Blue. Blue. She but in, like, was she uh, in like no, Central Fiction or Calamity? Uh, no, she, Calamity is the first she one. Was in, she was in Central Fiction? No, no, okay. no. Uh, she is in Central Fiction, but you can't play her. But she's in uh, Crota Phantasma, um, the, the third one. And uh, she is literally my wife. She carries around <laughs> snacks, a Game Boy, and rides around on a scooter. Like, my, my wife has two of those three things. She doesn't have the scooter yet. But, like... It's, it's like, literally, I married Kokonoe, and I could not be happier. <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, let's see if we can reinforce this bad boy here. We don't have enough yeah, cash. Uh-oh. I don't know. Oh, I think we can... <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> Chat, y'all are killing me. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, we can sell our old stuff. That's what I should be doing. I don't know who we're selling it to, but... Someone wants to buy this inferior pipe, so I'll give it to him. I mean, they have to have plumbers down in, uh, okay. Oh god, I can't say the word either. I know, it's, I, it, I'm really I bad. Someone even, someone even showed how to spell it in chat, and I was like, I, I still can't, I'm sorry. Yeah, I really wish. <laughs> Hashtag get Chatia a scooter. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds oh my dangerous. God. I, I, I will be right back, John. Go for it. Yep. I have way more level up gears than I thought. I guess I probably shouldn't go too crazy in case I want. Wait, training? Oh, literally the train. Never mind. Oh, maybe. I don't know if the, the great sword was the best idea. Oh no, it maybe it is. Maybe we're still good. Yep, this is way better than the sword we had. Oh my god. This red thing. Inferior scrap gun gold. The amount of money you gain increases by 15%. Nice. Wow. I have returned. Life one, fatal two. <laughs> Sounds like a move from one punch man. Pretty much. We we've got it. We've <laughs> got a move, new serious punch. We put on a new sword. This giant thing that I'm carrying around here. This is our new sword. I also really like how the enemies like jump into frame like a like a comic book. I I think that's a super neat touch. Yeah, I find it funny that they, they walked away just to go find more guys to mess with me. <laughs> right. Oh, here they come. Why did that mutant have two T's at the end of his name? Because this game has great spelling. Well, yeah, I, yeah. All right, where's the elevator? Come on. We're in a rush here. I don't think we're going to get to the, the, the hilarious thing I wanted to show off, which makes me sad. But this game has been way better than I actually expected. Man, when you told me that this is what we were playing, I was just like, yes. But I had no idea it was actually going to be good, like really good. You know, like even like the uh, the ratings on Steam is actually like they're, they're super high. Because yeah, this, just, this is very positive wrong. on Steam. So apparently it's decent. Yeah. I think like I was also lightly Metroidvania because now he can move the rocks. Time to rave yeah. again. This is literally the same <laughs> cutscene we had earlier. <laughs> Question. So mark. every time, every time you break those rocks, that's that cutscene's gonna play. Holy cow! All right, we found a train ticket. Ooh. We're heavier, more stamina, more life. Mutant throw! Like a pillow? Maybe. Does not look very comfy, sadly. Mutant gun! Mutant gun! <laughs> Fight gun with gun! I do have to keep an eye on all my weapons, so. Encounter rare enemy! Mutant rare! Get back here! No! Oh god! He's running! <laughs> go, 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 go! Hail Mary! Hail Mary! Man, if that would have said, like, got, I would have lost my mind. Oh, got it! He actually yeah, stopped. I think go. the rocket launcher actually stopped him. Holy cow. <laughs> that alert. Nice. Well, I wasted, like, all my ammo, so maybe I should go recharge this. It was worth it. We got the mutant rare. We got I wonder so if much they have gear. mutant well done. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> That's what the rocket launcher was for, right? Oh, uh, heck yeah. Let's let's go add to the skill tree. Uh, Yay, more let's, drawing. Let's get the bullet time for the rocket launcher. That is so... Well, that is a weird ability, but it works. My brother Rex Racer? <laughs> Concentration and survival. I can see the resemblance even under that mask. Now let's customize because we picked up a bunch of new stuff. We got a new great sword. Uh, yeah, here <coughs> not as good as the one we're currently using. 
But we have an inferior rusty sword that... Oh, that's the speed that's higher. Never mind. The power is way higher on this one. Uh, we can level this one up more. How about we do that? It also gives you a 9% like bonus, right? In, in like over top of the speed as well or no? Uh, yeah, like on top of the speed. Oh, wow. Dang. Yeah, so attack speed increases by 9% on top of that 194. Wow. Okay, yeah. So you'd be going a lot quicker, but it doesn't do nearly as much damage. Uh, all right, let's move over to the scrap gun. Gold, the amount of money you earn, you gain increased by 15%. Yeah, let's equip that. Let's level that up. <laughs> and let's see if we can upgrade the scrap launcher to... There we go. Perfect. Oh my Let's God. Just casually walking with my rocket launcher. No big deal. <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll do this next event, and then next save point we'll probably move on to the cookie. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually way more invested in this game than I expected. Yeah! Probably because the music kind of kicks ass too, so... And it has a uh, engineer girl, so that that's a plus point for me. <laughs> oh god, don't you oh, dare I got a go into rifle. rip clothing mode. Well, I can't wow. ruin I can't ruin my grandma's school uniform that somehow is still in <laughs> perfect condition after 72 years, right? Or however long it was. Until now. It's a good thing it kind of fixed itself too when we got better. That probably, that's oh, probably yeah, how it's, right. yeah, it's probably how it stayed intact for so many years. Like, it was magic. <laughs> Johnny the Surface Hater. You're not thinking of getting out of the surface, are you? Haha, <laughs> I have no interest in that, but I might be interested in how you'll end up getting killed by mutants above. Damn you, Johnny the, the Surface Hater. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh. Now, what level is this guy? Oh, shit. Johnny, help! Johnny, the surface hater, help me! Holy frick! This guy knows how to do cartwheels and shit! Wow. Ga 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 ga! Nice. Oh my god, this guy's. <laughs> Good lord! Th this guy's got some hops, man. Jesus, man. Wow. That is ridiculous. Oh, and I last missed my third shot, of course. You got this. Oh, dude, my lord. Dude, when you, he literally gets me off screen, man. That's ridiculous. That is actually insane. Oh, yeah, I forgot my perfect dodging. I completely forgot that was a mechanic. Oh, you almost got him, though. Go, go, go. Yep. We're dead. Game over. Damn wow. it, Johnny. Die. Ah, that sucks. We were so close. Just stood there and just watched that whole thing happen too. Damn Thank it, you, Johnny. Johnny, the surface hater. <laughs> yeah, they were they were guarding a, a, a refugee. We kind of needed to go up there. Damn it. Oh I, man. I failed the school. Damn it. I deaded instead of school. I deaded. I want revenge, but I also think we should probably move on to the cookie. <laughs> Dude, okay, let's let's get this one quicker, and then we'll move on. Okay. You, you gotta just take him out, like the strong enemy, just to just to show, just to prove your point. These hot jams will give me the power I need to win. Heck yeah. I'm not ironically like bobbing my head to this music. Like it's actually really good. Oh, he's back already. Oh they heck knew. yeah, dude. He's waiting for you. I'm ready for you. Tear him Maybe up. I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Rip and tear question mark? Wow. More like exclamation point. <laughs> it does a lot of damage. Holy cow. Yeah, it's it's three levels ahead of me. That's it. Three levels. Wow. That's just, just like scary. <laughs> ga, 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 ga. Oh, maybe getting close is not a good idea. 
But if I use the power of windmill... Oh my god! That's right, you better run. Don't mess with this windmill. Where'd he go? He, oh, he ran. What oh, do you think? Oh, there he is. Got him. Yeah. Oh, he's back. <laughs> oh, my God. What? <laughs> hey, buddy, let, let's go. Just ignore the, the giant guy trying to kill us. Just ignore him. <laughs> Who oh, the hell man, are he you? Didn't, he didn't uh, take no crap from nobody. I sure as hell, I sure hell didn't ask for any help. I was just digging a hole leading up to the surface. Get out of my way. A hole leading up? Is this a Simpsons bit? It's incredible. Their other is heading to the surface, too. The third generation underground residents. I mean, our generation was lucky not to experience hard and strict upbringing of our grandparents. I reckon there are many young people headed for the surface, fed up with life down here. Heading for a school up there, huh? Sako, I see how determined you are. I now see how determined you are. I don't plan on joining anyone until I connect this hole to the surface. This is my battle, so get out of my way. Oh, I did it. Cool. I guess we can go now. There's a hole. Well, it looks like you just went through the wall and, and not to the surface. All that digging must have hurt the wires inside a wall, sending the dress, stress signals a result. Aside from the small difference in the hole's purpose, it's a hole all the same. I suppose I finished my job then. <laughs> so, uh... You know, I wouldn't mind giving you a hand with your dream. You just want to run because you broke everything, didn't you? I've never seen Misako <laughs> becoming speechless. I'm not sure if the third generation underground residents are just brave or reckless. Oh. Level me up quickly because I'm about to get in a bad fight. He's still doing a cartwheel. He is still cartwheeling. Never stop. NSC. That's one way to escape, oh I guess. God. Oh my, really? Whoa! Man, dude, the Sonic spin is so good. Johnny! Johnny, please help God! <laughs> Stop doing God, drugs, Johnny! Johnny. Oh. It says there's something, oh, there we go, I see it now. I guess there was no okay, good. It didn't show up a third time, so. <laughs> I think this elevator will take us to the computer control room. Good job! Oh no, the elevator's not working. I think you need an employee key card to operate it. Where could I get one? Johnny, do you have a key card? <laughs> no, you don't. Nope. <laughs> oh wow, that we is very far away on the map. Look how far away that is on the map. One of the, it looks like I can go up here. Oh yeah, there we go. There's a staircase I can take instead to go to the next zone. I'm just gonna go back and save. Otherwise, we're just gonna be stuck on this forever. <laughs> but we did it. We got revenge, and we showed it to Johnny. Yep. Tore up the the strong mutant not once but twice. All right, let's go to main menu. Proceed to save and return to main menu. This was way better than I thought it would be, considering it's called Dead or School. <laughs> Yeah, this, oh, this title screen, I don't can't tell if this is the best title screen or the worst. Dude, I mean, it's pretty doggone good. Let me let like, me find Oh yeah, you got to show the uh, trailer. I got to find the trailer cuz I want I want you to see specifically why I've decided to pick it up. Um it's going to take a bit cuz it's <laughs> cuz it's all like half of its cutscenes that we've already seen. It's got the amazing English in the trailer as well, but it also plays Ode to Joy, which will definitely get the VOD muted. But I want you to see the weapon customization part is what really sold me on it. Because, uh, yeah, it's still playing Ode to Joy. Because it shows the stuff that we've already done. And then at some point, uh, okay, so we get attack drones. There's some more monsters we fight later on. Never surrender the braveness. Oh my god. Look at this boss. <laughs> Look at this huge ass boss. Dude, Skill customization. Yep, yep. Where is it? Come on. I know it's in here somewhere. That the, the thing that I really wanted to show off, it's in here somewhere. I was just not in like the, the thing at the end. Well, watch me watch me pick the wrong trailer too. I'm gonna be real sad. There's literally at one point she starts like putting a gun together and she like combines it with a teddy bear. What dude, that's metal of oh, Come on, don't tell me this is don't tell me it's not in this trailer. I'm gonna be so sad if I picked the wrong trailer. <laughs> this this looks right, but 
damn it. All right, I don't think I can find it, unfortunately. Uh, Man, that's that's awesome, though. Th th that game was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Told, uh, it, it, it really was a surprise, honestly. Yeah. By the way, uh, Eric is here. Say hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm um, taking an Animal Crossing break. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what most people are doing at this point. Yeah, that's what most people are doing. Yeah. <laughs> um, I told I told everybody that you were uh, Kokonoe from Blaze Blue, and oh, now yeah. everybody wants to get you a scooter. Oh no! Because <laughs> <laughs> you have the snacks, you have the Game Boy, but you don't have her scooter. And, I don't. And it was hashtag Get Chatia oh, a scooter. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I think that sounds like approval to me. I don't know. Oh, one hundred percent approval. Yeah, definitely. Oh man. I'm gonna find this thing. I want to show this off because it made me laugh so hard. I found it. I found it. I found it. It was. A, nice. It was a different okay. trailer. It was a different trailer. Also, your intermission screen is fantastic. Weapon customization. Yeah. So this this is what they were showing in the original trailer. I think this was for the original version of the game. They just started Whoa. doing weird stuff like this, and I was like, I need this. I want this weapon that we're making. Like just, just like look at this weapon we've designed. Now. Yeah, never surrender the braveness, dude. Like, <laughs> that's why I was like, I want this now. I want to play this game, dude. Yeah, yeah that like that that must be for like the Steam version instead of like the. Uh, no, th the this port. was the. Uh, I think this was the trailer, but when it was in early access. Oh, okay. That's why the HUD is completely different. Yeah, and it's even more freaking like zoomed out than it was before. <laughs> At least Searching. I zoomed in a little bit. Searching for friends and on the way to school. Oh my god. Same same scene as before, so we've we've already seen that. Same second verse, same as the first. Let's move on. Dude. That that, that was, was dead or school. So uh, That let's was go to, fantastic. Let's go to the cookie. Alright, if you guys are new here, here's how this works. For the fortune cookie, we pick five random games from my game collection, and you guys vote on a straw poll link dropped by one of the mods to see what game we play next. Cocoms also get to add a game choice as well. Jared, by any chance, do you have a game that you know I own that you want to see yes. on the cookie as an option? Yes, I would absolutely love to see Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine for the Sega Genesis. Dang, have it. All right. I know. I know. I'm a Puyo freaking fanatic, man. I, I am can't terrible. Help it. You know I'm terrible at it. We played at a Coliseum last year. I know. That's the best part. <laughs> oh, dirty, dirty. <laughs> Sh Shillig in chat says, let it be known that this, because this game has no clear time listed on how long to beat, I have taken it upon myself to beat it and catalog it. Wish me luck. Good oh, luck. Man. Good luck, Shillig. Good luck. You can be the number one dead or school speedrunner. You can do it. You can. You can be an hero. All right. Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine for the Genesis and the following five games, starting with game number one. Spy vs. Spy for the original Xbox. Oh my god. I forgot they made a game. I forgot they made that into a game. They wow. made a bunch. That's on the Game Boy. It's on the NES. There's a lot of Spy vs. Yeah. Spy games. It's all over the place. Game number two. Maximo vs. the Army of Zin for the PlayStation 2. Literally, uh, what, what is it? Uh, Ghouls and Ghosts, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's the 3D uh, yeah. Super Ghouls and Ghosts, basically. Heck yeah. Game Dude, I haven't played these games in forever. <laughs> You're going to be getting a lot of that tonight, man. Game number three, Rise, Son of Rome for the Xbox One. Uh, the Xbox wow. One launch title. Game number four, Tumblestone on Steam, a fun puzzle game. Hmm. And last but not least for this first round of cookie, Oregon Trail Director's Cut on Steam. Oh, Oh my so it's God. Oregon Trail, but zombie themed. We have played this one before on stream. Oh man, how many, how many like zombie based things is gonna happen today? Good I feel, lord, I, I don't know if I feel good about the symbolism coming from tonight's game I choices. Know. It's weird. <laughs> oh man, we'll see. We'll oh. see what people vote for. Speaking of um, speaking of uh, puzzle games, have you ever heard? Have you heard um anything about that puzzle game that played at Con Bravo? The uh, the number one. Oh, shoot. Uh, oh, no. I know exactly what you're talking about, but I cannot remember the name right now. I know. It's driving me nuts, and I really want it to come out because I've been craving to play it again. You know what the worst part is? I have, like, the... the I won hand sanitizer off them because uh, that was one of the prizes if you got, like, a good enough score or made it through all three yeah. rounds. So I have, like, strawberry-flavored, like, hand sanitizer 
Uh, but I can't remember the name of the How do you game. know what flavor it is? Because it says it on the bottle. I don't know why my brain just went to like, have you tried <laughs> it? Like... Never mind. You, we are in a you, weird state in time. Reading, okay? like, dude. Reading. <laughs> I was like, how did you know it was strawberry? I don't know, Jared. Frick. <laughs> oh, it's been a long day. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to vote for this game. But currently in the lead. What is what is leading right now? Let's find out. It's uh, Oregon Trail Director's Cut. Oh, Not by yeah. much, though. Uh, it's actually close. 262 votes. 40% of the vote. Mean Bean Machines in second place. 225 votes. 34% of the vote. Spy versus Spy in third place. 99 votes, 15%. Maximum versus the Army is in. 37 votes, 5%. Tumblestone, 26 and 4. Rise Center Room, 11 and 2%. 690 votes clock so far. Nice. Uh, <laughs> Oregon Trail leads 276 to 252. Minute and a half on the clock starting now. Whatever game is in the lead at the end of that minute and a half, that's the game we play next. If for some reason the game in second place gets 1% uh, away or less away from the win, it will be added as an extra option in the next poll, and since it's Jared's game, that would mean that he gets to pick a second game for the next round. Ooh! Also, I really love this song. Uh, this is from Bomberman, right? Bomberman Online, yep. Mo yeah. If if you don't recognize where a song's from, it's probably from Bomberman. Yeah, especially with you guys, like 100%. No, me, me in particular. Like, oh. <laughs> we, we, did a, we did a Bomberman tournament, like, I don't know how many years ago at this point on TRG. I was the only one who had played. That, me and Brutal Moose were the only two who played. Wow, that's insane. Yeah, no, I grew up with Bomberman. It's it's my favorite, one of my favorite series for sure. Dude, I absolutely, I I really love Bomberman Generations for the GameCube question yes. mark. Yes. Yes. Um, and I also there was a, a a Game Boy Color game. It was two different Bomberman games. It was Bomberman and Bomberman the, Max. Uh, yeah, dude. Oh my god, do you remember that? Like it yeah. was it was. I, I've got them, game. dude. I I have. Oh, so I'm, much I'm sure you there. do. <laughs> Like 100%, but my God, I played the heck out of that game now for us growing up. And you can like, you could you could use your like remote control for an IR thing to get like a monster. Yeah, or like, they, they were it, it, like the Pokemon ripoff. And then it also, yeah. it, the Cherubombs were the name of them. Uh, Cherubombs, and you could also oh unlock new maps with like the, I'm, with a remote control. By the way, there's dude, five I'm, seconds left and Mean Bean Machine is leading by three votes. So yes. I, I have a feeling. <laughs> Jared wins it. Jared wins it. 316 to 314. Woo! Oregon Trail is an extra option on the next poll, though. Awesome. So I'm not going to lie. I picked this game for the music because the music ah, in Mean Machine that makes is some sense. of my favorite. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, that, uh, yeah. I, I, uh, go to whenever we start playing it, um, make sure to go to the two player uh, game mode and you'll hear the best music in like almost all of gaming. Mm -hmm. So. All right, uh, let's drop some eggs. Oh, that's a big list. Oh my god. Uh, all right, Big O Shan, Captain Joe, Bramnet, Joking Mass, Blue Nexella, and Newgiver Talk. Thank you all for the gift subs. Old versions. Thank you for being a new sub. Everyone else, thank you all for hanging out and subbing, resubbing, and just being chill people tonight. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. Is what I would say if Dropbox was working. There we go. Uh, we've got two from Zal Dalziel and a video from Zylanok. Dalziel sends in. Egg Rupsy. Noun, where the carton is empty. Oh, I have a feeling I know what this is going to be. <laughs> I declare... Egg. Rupsy! I was wrong. <laughs> Dalziel also sends in Robin Egg Blooper. Whoa. And you know, I'll tell you what I'm going to do with this. Egg. What? I'm going to give it to you. What is this from? Oh. Thank you, Mr. Robbins. Mr. Robbins? Taking the egg back on my office. <laughs> oh. I only well. had three lines! <laughs> I was gonna say, I definitely recognize the voices after a bit there, though. <laughs> All right, and we've got a video from Xylenok, a minor improvement, and it's uh, it's from the game we just played, so let's, let's see what this is. Oh, God. Oh, of course, well, it's Rules of Nature. Why would I think it'd be anything <laughs> well, else? I use the power of windmill. <laughs> yes! Oh my god! That's right, you better run. <laughs> nice ending, too. That's right, you better run. Alright. We're gonna go to break when we come back. Art Block and Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. See you guys in a bit. Bye. Alright. Uh, let's see what's going on in art today. There's a lot there. Oh, man. 
Well, let how me do get you um? Hmm? How, how do you do your art stuff? Is uh, it just the Boru? Yeah, we use the Boru, and uh, I have a ten minute oh. timer I set. So and it just we just show art for ten minutes, and then we move on to the game. Oh, frick! Cool. Okay. So it's, it's pretty straightforward, and you'll see it all in the feed there too. So. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Okay, I'm gonna go grab the game. I'll be right back. <laughs> now stuck in my head. Right. <laughs> Somebody in the chat was like, I really love this dude on the call. He's always excited about everything. <laughs> yes, this is the 8 bit drummer for those who've not met Jared before. Fellow streamer. Stream. Uh, let's turn off the switch. Oh, are we still live? Oh, yeah. We're not live, but like, yeah, you, oh, you I didn't know. Our... You can chat with the chat if you want. Oh, well, freak. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know that. The, I was like typing. Muted. No, dude, they can hear you. Oh, yeah. I absolutely know of Rosa it, it... John. And uh, <laughs> I've had I've had some art done of me as a uh, as one of the female persuasion. Jared and... has also been gender bent for those wondering. Absolutely. And I freaking love it. I also have a couple of personas now. Um, and like everything, I have a little blue bunny, a little blue wolf, which I really enjoy. But I think my, my favorite thing that's come out of it is there's a picture that Sandwich Vamp did of me and John as Rosa John and Jamie Rose. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm like an Amy Rose cosplayer with the hammer and everything. And like, I have ears. So it's like half, half gender brand, half furry. <laughs> so... <laughs> It's really cool. Um, but yeah, I freaking love stuff like that, man. Like, uh, and, and John actually got me to, well, not not directly, but indirectly got me to open up a stream fan art thing in my Discord. And we've had a lot of fun stuff come about. Uh, we just had one of a recent meme. Somebody drew Anakin Skywalker as a banana because it's Bananakin. And we, yeah, that was on Twitter earlier. So that was a fun time absolutely wonderful but yo i'm always really flattered when people do like fan art and stuff like that it really yeah it's really cool thank you hyperia i appreciate the kindness man hooray for banana can yeah, indeed. <laughs> oh heck yeah uh you and john as wario and waluigi oh my god that makes a lot of sense because he's wow i just I even... <laughs> it's oh frick like that's perfect because like waluigi's your thing and and Wario's mine now, apparently. Congratulations. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God. I know. Like, <laughs> freaking hand claps for everybody around. But, yeah. Um. Oh, God. That's a good question, Philip. Uh, I have no idea, to be honest. Probably none of them. <laughs> Robert Cop? Yeah, dude. Is Robert Cop. That's also a... Uh... That's a, a is that a vine sauce reference as well or no? no no it is not a vine sauce reference so uh so many years ago uh there was a uh, an action figure that people put out which was just a bootleg of RoboCop and it was called Robert Cop the furniture oh. of law enforcement <laughs> and its catchphrase was oh. I'll be back it was literally just meant to be a, a tour, like a Chinese bootleg action figure and wow. then like it was just like a weird one off joke that they did and uh, we needed a name for for the Robocop Robert uh, Robocop Waluigi combination we had, and we were just like Robert Cop seems like a good fit, so it just he became Robert Cop to us. Nice. But he is not the origin of the name. No, the origin actually goes to a, a joke. Here, let me I'll find that since we're talking about it. Oh no, I I actually know what it's from, but I didn't know if you if you saw it after Vine Sauce did because I know Vine Sauce uh, did something of that nature as he well. He did a Robert Cop music video. What year is this? Yes, yes, this is, he did. 2015. Uh, I'm pretty sure the Robert Cop joke actually dates farther back than that. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm trying to probably. remember the origin of this though. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. 2011. There we go. Yeah, no, it this this is even predates Vine Sauce. Nice. Okay. Uh, Game Face. To answer that question, a lot actually. I've had a couple of uh, really nice little art pieces made of me as a Vaporeon. It's it's always really flattering. It's so cute, dude. Freaking love Vaporeon. Yo, John, what's your favorite Pokemon, by the way? Uh, Jolteon. 
Oh, well, okay. Yeah, that, I, I can see that 100%. Yeah, Jolteon and Halucha would probably be my, my two choices. Oh, good choice. Um, mine mine is uh, Vaporeon, Gudra, um, Mew, and Mewtwo uh, in that order. Nice. Yeah, it's good stuff. Vaporeon's my absolute favorite, though. All right, so I'm so I'm, I'm gonna get you all caught up here before we go to Dar blog and everything. This this is the origin of Robert Cop. So this was a photo. Sh oh, right, resumed in because the videos. Hang on. So uh, this is the origin of the Robert Cop thing. Someone just took a, a action figure for Robert Cop and just wanted to make a bootleg Photoshop, so they called it Robert Cop Two. <laughs> then oh, uh, man. someone took that. And uh, they made like a weird fake description for it, and then they made this action figure, Robert Cop 2, the furniture of law enforcement. I'll be back. Futuristic Robert, Terminator Autobotic, exciting movie to look, toy. 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 Indeed. I think you could actually buy these. There was some site was selling these originally. And then wow. like, there was like a spinoff for a while of people just making Robert Cop bootleg stuff. So then there's this bootleg Robert Cop 2 shirt here. It's gonna make me refresh this to actually resize this so you can see it correctly. No, I can't resize this one for some reason. That's weird. <laughs> uh, well, then we'll cheat. There we go. So you can <laughs> yeah, see dude. here, like, it's Robert Cop 2. So he's got the Transformers, the Autobots logo here on his jacket. Johnny Five is in the background. And uh, the T-1000 is actually C-3PO instead. Oh, my God. So, like, there was, there was just, like, this weird era of, like, the the early 2010s where people were just doing all this Robert Cop stuff. And then it just died off suddenly. And then apparently both Vine Sauce, Joel, and myself both brought it back around the same time. <laughs> Yeah, because Which dude, the really Robert weird. Cop, the Robert Cop music video is actually fantastic. The music's really good. I've played, I played it on cast before, and I'm just like, holy frick, this is amazing. So yeah, so that's that's where I thought you got the Robert Cop name from because I know I, I knew of the action figure. I yeah. didn't know like it was just you and him did it at the almost exact yeah, same time. Yeah, almost around the exact same awesome. time, completely like uh, separate of each other. N like we don't know each other at all. <laughs> so, T3PO. So just... <laughs> Oh god, that, that works too. <laughs> That's what makes me mad is that it works. Oh man! All right, let's, um, let's read a couple quick donations and let's go to the art block. Let's do it. Uh, <laughs> this upsets me greatly. <laughs> 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 oh, thanks, Keon. Crytoxin says, "Dead or School" is just the Metro series anime fied. Yeah, actually. Yeah, true. Uh, Sabin says, a Doom Train suplex time. No, use the Phoenix down. It goes much faster. Eurochan says, give me 10 minutes and I'll make up proof that Dead or School shares continuity with Shin Megami Tensei Fever for, for 4. Shin Megami oh Tensei god. 4. Oh my god. Well, I, it's been 10 minutes, so I have a feeling I'm going to find it here somewhere. Eureka <laughs> Society Sleuth says, I'm among the demon, I mean zombies, to search for traces of humanity, civilization, and education. What do you say, large-eyed anime protagonist? Together, our titties combined will defeat the monsters and restore schoolosity. school society, rather. I yeah, don't I think, think that's how, I don't how know. things work. <laughs> Followed up by Fallout Boob Vegas saying, here is the post-apocalyptic wasteland 78 years after the fall of civilization. People are going mad and no one's seen the surface in decades. Food is scarce and healthcare may as well be non-existent, but anime girls and titties remain completely pristine. Darn right. Diver they damp <laughs> These are all amazing. I don't this is probably like one person. Uh Diver Damp Clothed Man says, Young lady, you want to go to school on the surface at this time of year in this part of the country? Well, I might have a crucial job to perform down here, but taking you to talking to you made my eyes bigger, so as thanks for de-aging me, I'll come along. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. The state of school says, I'm glad Hisako can see me for what I truly am. You'll all need to remember just how great I, read dramatically please, John, school truly am! <laughs> Alright. Oh, man. Ichigo, Ichigo Kurosaki says, Hey, Miss Anime Schoolgirl, can I have my giant knife sword back? My anime's coming back, and I'm kind of going to need it to train and fight for my friends, spin leaks, skip many days of school, get a new power-up, keep my hair impossibly spiky, and orange. Oh, yeah, Bleach is coming back, isn't it? I forgot about that. Wait, what? Yeah, Bleach is coming back. They're doing the Thousand Year Demon War story arc or something like that. Oh, That's... frick. Awesome. I didn't know that. Yeah, that got announced this week. 
So it's, oh, it's, well, that's it's why I didn't news. know. Okay. Th thousand Year Blood War. Sorry, Zylanoc, that would be it. The Thousand Year Blood oh, War. Oh, frick. That's so cool. Okay. Dude, I love Bleach. I, I've watched, I haven't seen it all yet, but I um, I'm, I need to get caught back up. Uh, Demon, I have criticism, yes. Demon Fat says, hey, I am not fat. I'm big boned. My mom said so. Damn this game. <laughs> Blue Fairy Kino <laughs> said, I know, just like the worst part is like there's no space between the comma, the comma, so it's just mutant fat. <laughs> Doesn't even get a second to breathe. Blue Fairy Kino says, John just played a beat em up sort of game, is now going to play a puzzle game, and I'm listening to while playing a mystery dungeon spin off of a first person dungeon crawling game series. It's genre mashup night. Yay! Nice. Absolutely. Schools of Nature says, uh, being tracked by a big tittied anime or big tittied girl looking for her daily world, a society on the verge of death, close to his last last breath, getting close to his last breath. Schools of Nature, and they run when the train goes up with our boobs on the line. Oh my god, I hate the fact that that is all that also works with the song. That was impressive. And Robotnik just donated and said, Snooping is you, or oh, sorry, Snooping to school, I see anime girl. <laughs> snooping is usual, I see. Damn, you did that really well. Bro, I've watched a lot of Sonic AT uh, OSH or whatever the frick it's called. Yeah, you have no idea. Also, I, I absolutely, so have you heard, um, I'm pretty sure you heard it whenever I played it at, uh, at Coliseum last year, but have you heard uh, I Teach Vader's freaking like Dr. Robotnik music videos. Maybe. It's been a while, so I, I'm not sure if I remember fully. Like, Win the Race, Hedgehog Stew, freaking, uh, like, oh my god. He he took pieces of the Sonic the Hedgehog show with Dr. Robotnik talking and made actual coherent songs out of them, and they're <laughs> actually really, really good. Like, like Win the Race is my absolute favorite. Like, Oh, should, I've, I've heard Win the out. Race. I've heard yeah. Win the Race. I freaking love when the race hedgehog stew is my absolute favorite though. Um, like that one is the best one that he's done, but yeah. <laughs> so Robotnik has been a part of my life for a very long time. <laughs> now it all makes sense now. Robotnik rock. Oh man. Yeah, dude. Free. All right. And with that, let's go to the art block starting with this from yesterday's stream. So yesterday we put together two model kits. So Ooh. we have a lot. We have a lot of like uh, kit building and craft stuff that came up. Look, look at that little bean from Fury. Is building? Uh, I'm gonna butcher this. Is Amigurumi's the same as building models? Because I did this, and she's cute and adorable. I'd say that counts. Less chance of me stabbing, like stabbing my fingers with a needle, because I'd be using a knife <laughs> instead. But there you go. Aww. All right, from Tree John Word and John Lopsis. Oh, that's really cute. Ark Knights, Alt Johns, John Ward and John Lopsis for, for Roy the Jet Set. So I was given a lot of creative freedom with this one and was able to choose the characters to use. The two I chose were uh, Plytops, Plytlopsis and Steward since their designs stuck out to me the most. Also, as opposing this, I'm out of Alt John requests. That means I'll be choosing what Alt Johns I draw from my own knowledge until somebody leaves a comment with a reference. The project's been a lot of fun and I want to keep it going even if I don't get requests. You've been doing really good with these trees, so yeah, by all means, keep going. Thank you. And I saw that you, there's another one somewhere up here that we're going to show off at some point. Yeah, right there. We'll jump right over to it right now. The John Reel. The, the, the cross of me and Toriel. Dude, so good. Bonus time. Another John Reel, this time with bonus pie. Delicious pie. We actually had a cat that lived um, in our apartment complex that would hang out with both me and Helmick whenever we lived there. We called him Toriel, even though he was a boy, so that's very mm. ironic. Nice. <laughs> I love Eevee, because I wasn't able to see you making Eevee model, because I just woke up and you had already started working on Pikachu. So here I have my attempt at drawing Bagel as an Eevee. Anyways, I got Animal Crossing yesterday uh, because my friends give me money for the game and I'm happy with the kindness and friendship. Maybe I'll do some art Animal Crossing style in the future for the bureau. Also about my relatives, they're still safe. Oh, thank goodness. So what I heard is wrong, so it was false news, so I'm relieved. As a side note, I want to do more evolution art with your alt. Can you suggest which alt uh, as what evolution? Anyone can respond as well. Uh, I mean, uh, Calm, like, we literally have, have, like, a Jolteon. Like, Jolteon is literally, like, the alt Jolteon to me. Oh, hang on. Uh, I think that's how it's spelled. Yep, there we go. Yeah, no, like, there's, there's the, well, you already did that earlier, too. So this is, like, the female Jolteon, and then this is the male Jolteon here, too. So, like, both, both alts exist there. And this is the one that you did, like, uh, a week ago? Yeah, that's so freaking good. 
Yeah, so yeah, like, if you want to do more Jolteons, I won't say no to that. Uh, otherwise, if you want to mix it up with, uh... With Glaceon, go for it. Hmm. Next up, from Chloe. Uh, I made I made bagel and sour cream as animals from Animal Crossing. Bagel's chicken arm is also now a prosthetic to fit the theme. <laughs> <laughs> the chicken arm, dude. That's yeah. been cracking me up on oh Twitter. Oh my man. <laughs> god, it's so bad, dude. I feel so bad for him, but he's like already running around outside again. He does not care. Yeah, my my boy's feeling better too. Like he's been he's been good to go. I had another picture after the first one. Oh, did I miss one? I'll look again, tree. I tried to make a Maple Leaf insignia, but I probably need to work on that a bit more. Oh well. Still looks good. Uh, oh, I did! You're right! Sorry, I did, sorry. Uh, I just want to give my cute goose sister a hug. Huh? <laughs> Let Mercy hug Aww. the goose! This is the most civil that Goose John has ever been. That's probably why. <laughs> it's a very cute tree. Also possibly the smallest Goose John has been, so maybe that's why she's so civil at this point. <laughs> she's like, this is a normal picture! I get to be normal! These are uh, these are not uh, like 66 or uh, 42 H's. Like what the fuck? <laughs> that's the, yeah, that's pretty small actually by comparison. Oh well, it, yeah, I mean, because yeah, yeah well, no, the Goose John came from one of those like Monster Girl generators, and that was a Q cup that she got. A Q cup. Okay. A Q cup. Yeah. So oh, Jesus, that's why right. she's always she's she's literally like unless some, one of the other alls is using magic, she's the biggest one naturally. <laughs> nice. Okay. Because that's how how dumb the lore has gotten at this point. Oh man, dude, that's so fun. That's so fun. I love stuff like that, man. You have no idea. Huh? Well, you've come to the right place then. Oh heck yeah, dude. <laughs> huh? You live on our secret treasure island, and you just got here, and your house is now on top of the secret treasure. Oh man, I haven't been this unlucky since the vending machine gave two snacks, but the door got jammed. Yar har. I try to think of some dialogue that Bagel might have. Hope y'all like it. That's a, I still like how cute that bagel is. I think that fits real good. Yeah. Since Jared is apparently going to be on tonight, uh, I oh, want to make, yeah! <laughs> make my first Buru post something for tonight's gift wall. Credit goes to a model by the name of uh, Russet Mars 2, which inspired oh, me to post this. The best part of that is that is the Sands Jiggle, yeah. as well as Wario. It is absolutely perfect. Oh have, my have god. Have a rotten day. Yeah. yeah. Oh, frick. <laughs> that, is, that is my life now. Oh, that's John. the same mod or not model. There we go. That makes more sense, dude. Don't worry. <laughs> like I, I've had years of being connected to the Waluigi, and now I'm connected to Rosalina. So like, it's a coin toss <laughs> with what happens at this point. Man, literally, dude, literally, I I'm still shocked at this. Like, someone put one of those like, whatever your birth month is, that's the Nintendo character yeah. like, that lives with you. And Rosalina Absolutely. was my birthday month. And Frick Reese yeah, also dude. shares my birthday month. We're both November kids, so like. We both got Rosalina. I'm like, oh shit! Now the hot wife John joke makes so much more sense now. Hot it was wife just, John. Just Holy layers frick. upon layers. It's wonderful, man. I, I I absolutely adore this type of stuff. Like people people have been doing stuff like that about like or for me as well a little bit recently, like art wise, and yeah. it's just been so much fun. I love it. 